Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News 24-7. I'm Lindsay Reiser. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. We're just eight days away from the presidential election, and new CBS News polling shows the race is as close as it's ever been, with the candidates virtually tied in the battleground states. We're following both campaigns, with Trump stumping in Georgia, and Vice President Kamala Harris set to deliver her closing argument tomorrow in Washington. Israeli attacks... Israel, rather, attacks multiple targets in Iran after Iranian missile strikes on Israel and... Israeli forces claim they have captured around 100 suspected Hamas militants during a raid on a hospital in northern Gaza. And McDonald's says the quarter pounder will be back on the menu at all locations this week after a deadly E. coli scare. The fast food giant pulled the burger from 900 locations after 75 people got sick and one of them died. McDonald's says a test of its beef patties found no sign of infection. The E. coli was traced to another company that supplied raw onions. We are just over one week away from Election Day, and the race is neck and neck. According to CBS News' latest polling, Vice President Kamala Harris is up 1 percent over former President Donald Trump, with likely voters on a national scale. But in battleground states, the choice for president is literally tied at 50 percent. The outlook changes when it comes to voting by gender. According to the polling, Vice President Harris is in the lead with likely female voters by roughly 12 percent, and former President Trump has a 9 percent advantage with likely male voters. Both candidates are on the trail today. Vice President Harris is hosting several events in Michigan, while former President Trump is making stops in Georgia. The former president's stops follow what his campaign dubbed as the start of his closing arguments on Sunday at Madison Square Garden in New York. The event is facing backlash for a series of racist, crude, and offensive remarks made by the opening acts for the former president. When he took the stage, his speech included some familiar campaign lines about immigration, his deportation plans, crime, the border, and the economy. We are going to fire Kamala, and we are going to save America. We will cut your taxes, end inflation. Slash your prices, raise your wages, and bring thousands and thousands of factories back to America. Today, Vice President Harris responded to the former president before going to Michigan. I think last night, Donald Trump's uh, event in Madison Square Garden really highlighted a point that I've been making throughout this campaign. Uh, he is focused and actually fixated on his grievances, on himself and on dividing our country. Let's bring in our CBS News panel for more on the campaign. CBS News reporter Jared Eggleston is following the Trump campaign in Atlanta, and CBS News political reporter Zach Hudak is following the Harris campaign. He joins us from Washington. Jared, let's start with you. While CBS News polling shows that the race is neck and neck, there appears to be a growing divide when it comes to gender. What are we seeing from male and female voters and why? Lindsay, good afternoon. Week 8 of the NFL season caps off tonight with the Giants in Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. But a nominee for play of the year was on display in Washington Sunday. Commanders quarterback Jaden Daniels heaved a last-second Hail Mary pass that was tipped and then fell into the arms of Noah Brown for a game-winning 52-yard touchdown to beat the Bears. Washington won miraculously 18-15 to over Chicago. While the Commanders are 6-2 and two and atop the NFC East, the Cowboys fell to 3-4 and four after losing to the 49ers. Sunday night, 30 to 24. Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott threw for two touchdowns but had two interceptions in the loss. Coming up throughout the afternoon on CBS News 24 7, we're tracking Trump and Harris's campaigns as a new CBS News poll shows the two presidential candidates tied in battleground states, the last ditch efforts for votes with just over a week to go until Election Day. And we're watching as tensions remain high in the Middle East. Israel launched a wave of airstrikes against military targets in Iran. The latest escalation in a growing regional conflict. You're streaming CBS News 24-7.